What's going on in Minnesota? It is heating up up there. It's been crazy. Obviously, a horrible thing happened up there with the police department and their victim. How, first of all, how did this start? A guy went into a convenience store, was it? Uh, passed a fake $20 bill, and the cops overreacted like you can't believe. What's the backstory, and where are we today? Well, there's a couple things we should mention. First of all, the tragedy, and I call it that because I mean it, uh, they killed an unarmed guy that was already in custody, not fighting back, and the video is horrific. Uh, I watched it, and it brought tears to my eyes. It was a horrible, brutal crime, and as of today, the guy who did it is in jail. Having said that, having said that, the media is reporting peaceful protests have broken out all over Minneapolis. CNN mentioned that a store had been vandalized, a Target and a nearby liquor store. Kent, it's a lie. Over 150 businesses have been burned and looted and it's not being reported. So when I started doing my research to tell you about this, I made a list of some of the stores none of which is on the news, but I want Crave listeners to get an idea of how bad the violence is, and it's not stopping even today. Here's a few of the stores. Remember, CNN said two, two stores had been attacked. Target, Wendy's, food store under construction, affordable housing complex ready to open, the Minneapolis Police Department, Dollar Tree, T-Mobile, Liquor Store, Speedway Store, East Lake Library, Precision Tune and Auto Care, Manihana Liquor, U.S. Bank, Dairy Queen, Papa Murphy's Pizza, Planet Fitness, Domino's Pizza, Urban Forge Winery, Gandhi Mahal Restaurant, Car X Tire and Auto, Laundry Max, Seward Pharmacy, Electro Tune and Auto Care, Walgreens Pharmacy, Elevated Beer and Wine and Spirits, Schooner's Tavern. Tavern. You've got a list that goes on and on I've got and seven on. Pages. Barry, let, let me ask you something. You know, I saw that tape. Could all of this been avoided had President Trump looked at the tape and said, "You know what? That is absolutely wrong. Take those guys into custody. Question them. Keep them into in custody uh, until something's cleared up." I don't understand why that didn't happen. Why were these guys able to be free for a few extra days? Why couldn't they be taken into custody? It could, have taken, it could have taken all the heat off of this situation. Well, maybe, maybe not. And let me tell you why I'm saying that. What Trump did say, to his credit, is he turned loose the FBI on it immediately, and he turned loose the Justice Department for the Civil Rights uh, Commission to look into it immediately. For the federal government to move fast is a very difficult thing. It's a monolith and it's enormous bureaucracy and it's thousands of miles away. President Trump said, this is horrible. It's a crime. We will investigate it and we will not tolerate it. So he said all the right things. Here's what I think happened. In the past few years, Kent, there have been a number of situations with bad things happening that have been blown into race riots or civil unrest, the likes of which the country hasn't seen since the Rodney King riots. It happened in Missouri uh, a few years ago. Remember, hands up, don't shoot. Yep. It turns out that was a fake. And the word came out that protesters were bussed in from all over the country and paid to demonstrate and paid to riot and paid to carry signs. And they were advertising for those people to be hired on Craigslist. As of today in Minneapolis, they're saying a vast number of the people in the streets are not from there. They've been bussed in. It's a created race riot when it's really what I call a bad cop killing a guy. Now, there's some background as well between these two people. Apparently, they worked together at a nightclub and they really didn't like each other. And the cop used this opportunity to, well, rough the guy up and then in the process killed him. But it's that, not worth burning down Minneapolis over. And my point is the media is not reporting it. Yep. Your viewers know most people don't.